Hey guys, this is Ken from Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and uh, you are looking at one of our latest refractors. This is the Eon 104mm EDX2, and the X2 means it's a triplet, first of all, uh, three lenses, but two of the lenses are made out of ED glass. One is FPL 53, and the other is FPL 51. Uh, the reason they do that, first of all, in some of our other designs, uh, they use one lens of ED coupled with two other elements to give you very good color contrast and a, a very low chromatic aberration. Well, this one using both pieces of ED glass gives you the highest level of uh, uh, optical quality and the lowest amount of chromatic aberration. So you've got an excellent crystal clear star field image, very tight stars because they're not going to be bloated because uh, some of the bright stars might be out of focus in the blue end or the red end leading to slightly fat stars. There is very, very low chromatic aberration, so very tight star field, um, very good color correction, and overall just an extremely high contrast image. Now that works both visually and photographically. So when you put an eyepiece on this and you're looking at Jupiter, say, at very high magnification, you're going to get a very clean, very sharp image. And then if you're taking a very long deep sky exposure with your DSLR uh, or other CCD camera, um, you've got a, let's say you've got a star field with some very bright stars in there. Well, some scopes that don't have as good color correction will start to bloat out or you'll see some purplish halo fringes around the stars. This is not going to have any of that. It's got very good color correction. So let's uh, get into some of the details and I'll show you some of the features. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the lens. It's 104 millimeter, f six and a quarter. So that comes out to 650 millimeter focal length. And I'll point it right about there. You can probably get a good image of it. Uh, a very nice coated lens, very low uh, reflectivity, uh, high light transmission. Again, the two elements of ED glass. 650 millimeters is great for medium wide field stuff. So this thing is ideal for the wide field deep sky images. So most all the Messier objects, I mean, maybe not the, the smallest of little planetary nebulas, it, they'll appear fairly small in the field, but the showpiece objects, Orion, uh, Andromeda galaxy, large star clusters, the, the um, uh, Dumbbell Nebula, some of the larger ones there. Um, pretty much most of the Mezzi objects would come out in very nice detail with a long exposure photograph. On the back side, let me just cover this up so I don't get too much dust on it. On the back side is the focuser. It's a 2.7 inch focuser. Um, it features, it's rotatable in two different points. Right here, you can rotate it so you can adjust where the focus knobs are. And then you can also adjust the camera right here and then lock it down so you can have the camera in any orientation to the uh, telescope focusing knobs in any orientation. If you look at the focusing knobs themselves, it's dual speed. Here's the course adjustment. And then you've got a 10 to 1 uh, reduction here on the side. And if you look on the side here, it looks like a uh, rack and pinion focuser. We actually call it a hybrid focuser. This is a really nice design. It's got the dual speed. It's got a rack and pinion, which gives you a very robust, uh, strong uh, lifting capacity uh, motor. And it's cut at a bias at an angle, so you're not going to have any backlash with a, a gear like this. This is my favorite type of focuser. It's very robust. Uh, in fact, it'll hold more than 17 pounds worth of equipment on the back. So I don't really know of any camera and off-axis guider and whatever other combination is going to get you to 17 pounds. But if you ever did, this thing would definitely hold it and allow you to still get very fine control over the focus. It's 2.7 inch back here. We've got step downs to standard two inch and to one and a quarter. It features a compression lock, so you loosen this up and then just grab it there, tighten it down, and it holds your camera nice and tight. Included with the telescope, you get uh, these machined rings, uh, the dovetail bar. It's about an eight inch dovetail bar uh, on the bottom here. Uh, there's a lens cap up front, cap in the back. Uh, and then it also comes in a nice uh, heavy-duty hard-shelled case to protect the telescope. Uh, the telescope itself weighs about 14 and a half pounds, so pretty lightweight for its size and aperture. Uh, it will fit on pretty much any equatorial mount, though I think if you're going to be doing long exposure deep sky photography, maybe the minimum would probably be the Skyview Pro mount, though I'd feel more comfortable I've got it here on the Sirius mount. This would be ideal for any length deep sky exposure. All right, well, there you have it. This is the 104 millimeter uh, Eon X2, EDX2, uh, APO refractor telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.